try to take you into that whole foods market with me and I actually have a personal story about this one. I used to work in this building. So long shot. Way up there on the 41st floor. So we had grand views of Midtown, actually all of Manhattan except the back because that was where the CEO's office was. But it was a beautiful, beautiful view looking towards downtown that I used to take a lot of pictures of. As luck would have it, uh, Whole Foods opened their store one month before my office moved to Grand Central. Tough luck, huh? I kind of felt bad about that. But uh, these days, they're literally a hop, skip, and jump away, as I would say, around, I'd say, three blocks away. So that's not very far. So why don't we cross the street and get inside, and hopefully it's not too full with people and I'll be able to take you grocery shopping with me. We are actually on Avenue of the Americas. This is uptown traffic. I've taken videos of the bus taking me to this side of the street. This is a very short walk from Times Square, very short walk from Grand Central. So it's very centrally located. Again, hopefully it's not too crowded and they will let me film without a problem. So we're gonna go up, go in through, uh, very, very wobbly. So news agency, let's see what they have. This is sort of their grab and go stuff. So here you can see some goodies, rugula, I see cupcakes, all locally made, vegan too, and you have options. They used to have a counter in the middle where you could bag your own stuff and it was Weighed, but after the pandemic uh, began, that counter disappeared. There you go. They're also very good treats. But the ones I like are upstairs in the bakery, and we'll go there in a bit. So here's where they have the scones, the muffins, and all the other baked goods. Allowed to grab your own. They have the plastics and the wax paper over there. And all types of bagels here, same specialty bagels. So if you're going around and you're in the area. These are mix and match cookies that you can then get weighed. Like right now, because it's late in the day, these are all that's left. They'll, they'll refresh first thing in the morning because of Madeleine's, which I'm mad about. <laughs> if you have a sweet tooth like me, you're going to love this stuff. So I'm trying to do cheese Danish. This has to be a scrim cheese Danish. Yummy, 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 yummy. These are our chocolate madeleines. And you have the pound cakes up there, which I truly love. They're also upstairs. And cookies, which can be made. Cookies in containers or bins. And of course, we're requesting that you use the provided tongs. These are very good slices of pound cake. My favorite. Very good. And we have granola here. I'm not very big on granola unless they're already prepared with the yogurt. So the brands you will see here are not the usual brands you'll find in your regular grocery. 
They don't have your, your Coke, your Pepsi. Um, it's supposed to be wholesome foods. That's why it's whole foods, right? Jesus. But you want healthy stuff or the hard to find stuff, you'll find them here. Of course, the usual water. Craft brew, well, craft brews. Did I say that right? I'm not really into beer. So you have sushi. In the pouches of rice? Oh, like two of them. Yeah, them's are pairs. Yeah. Good for a quick lunch. Take me home, it says. No. Yeah, these. You're supposed to grab and get what you need and fall in line afterwards. And they have a whole section of them by the registry line. There's chocolates, chocolates, chocolates galore. They actually have quite a selection of beers here, which you can buy in singles or in packs. Again, in on sale. Seems to be a good one. I don't really drink beer myself, so no judgment. It's a matter of taste. Actually a lot of ground cover, so if I'm going a bit too fast, just have to bear with me. Pouring beers here. So, strange seed that's next to the cleaning products. This is what they have. Very big on organic and stuff. 365 is actually their generic brand, so that's much like Schumarts or SM's bonus. Ciders here. All right. Bye. Okay. Uh, All right. Bye. Okay. Uh, Special jams. So, like I said, uh, they have quite 
an extensive, very extensive cheese selection. It says, the king of cheeses is the Parmesan or Rajon. Right behind there. So here you can order for your cheese tray, and your appetizers, your antipasti, and sandwiches too. So they have the food. If you want to order dinner, actually, you can get away with getting everything here the sides, the main course. And you can order for one or order for a party of as many as you want. They have the containers to provide you with if you want to get bigger portions. So, there are Chakuti and it's over there. I don't know if that will show. So, you also say, there you go. Over here they have more snacks. So, stonas. Uh, oops, sorry about that. So whether it's peanuts or chocolate covered something. And all these goodies. And of course they have pizza. You can order a slice off here. They will get it ready, and there's an eating area over there. So the cheese, look at this. So many choices, right? And you can go from soft to tart, aged, flavored, and all that. Not quite the choices and they have the accompaniment so if you want crisps you want the honey want the quince space they have it they even have the marcona almonds which are my favorite these are very very savory and they're a little oilier than normal but they go so well with the cheese I'm not doing grocery right now. I'm just bringing you here. It's hard enough to take a video, narrate, and then go around. If I were pushing something, you would never get any. My favorite fondue. Um, one good secret to fondue is adding a bit of wine. That will actually help, not really melt but it uh, helps the cheese to sort of disintegrate better. More cheese. Mm, here we go. So much cheminess, right? These are on sale, one dollar off per pound. Hmm. I'm going to try to go row by row. I don't know if that will be possible. But, so let's start with Paleo chips. Not really very particular. I do love the naan. They have quite the choice of coffees and teas. Super duper. Not the teas you will find in your regular supermarket, although they glow. I find that in my regular supermarket. I'm trying not to be too loud. Leaf. That used to be a favorite. This is actually a discovery. If you're missing Lily's peanut butter, their honey version, I'm sorry, of Justin's is actually a very good, very good substitute. It really tastes like Lily's. So you, that's available in small sachets or in these containers. Lots of traffic, so I'm gonna have to skip this. And then they have the different oatmeal. Mm. 
Plantation aspects here. And this one. Okay, lots of people I'm getting banged up. They have Cheerios. And like I said, 365 is their own brand. This is their generic brand, but it's pretty good. Um, the best mayonnaise I've tasted is actually their 365 mayonnaise. Uh, yogurts. Brand and I buy because it's not too cottony in the mouth for a Greek yogurt. It's very smooth. Zero percent. It's very good with fruit and shakes mixed with your favorite uh, jam. All the breads you can think of, not from their bakery. That's a difference. So the loaves, oh, 365, this is them. They have all sorts, different types. They have a lot of organic stuff, which is really very good. The aisles are a little smaller, so I can't really move back too much. Oh, there's space, people moved. There you go. choices and non-milk included so they have all sizes if you only want for yourself or for your family these are the usual brands here in New York so.
Just the products. Very, very cute. Look at that. They are stashers. You put your stuff and then you can wash them. So instead of using disposable plastic, sometimes it's going to help the environment. And that's what they think. Give me what you're supposed to do. One of the staff was actually asking if he was in my video. And I said, no, I don't do people. I only do products. Special mention. Lane is a very, very popular bakery here in New York, and they do have the frozen ones. So these sale products actually change fairly often, like week two. Rayos is really on sale. What is the price? Like I said, I really recommend them. They're very good. And canned goods, canned vegetables. They have their own line too. They have a very healthy offering here, though. I tried this for my son, but he's very picky. But they were good when I actually tried them. So, uh, like I have said, the best mayo I've tasted is this 365 mayo, which is down there. Pickles, capers, and whatever. brands or um, versions of soup and meals. Ramen broth down there. So if you wanted to, if you're missing some Asian flavor, you can actually get the ingredients from here. Okay. Even the exotic oils that you might not be able to find in other stores, they have quite the selection here. So this is their 365 line. Sometimes I've found that the prices are actually cheaper. For example, this one is $8.99. That's not actually bad. It's uh, not bad for that size. So there are balsamic vinegars and other types of vinegars, which and olive oils, which you would need for cooking and stuff, and pastas. This is their own. And they have the exotic. Just check my shopping video of Italy which I published a few weeks ago off the shelf with me. And look at the different choices of pasta sauce. 365 again. See? But they also have other brands like this. They have Rayo, which is my favorite. So I have the choices right here. You can see we will very nice. So these are the gadgets.
Yeah, so. These are their prepared sauces, which are very good. Pasta sauce. And little bit tomatoes. These are things you can put on either entrees like grilled chicken. You overcook pasta, it's going to get all soggy. Mascarpone, which is the primary ingredient for tiramisu. Real tiramisu uses that. Mascarpone, mascarpone. That's what they use for the tiramisu. I love cheese. This is your tabletop cheese, cooking cheese. Not there for me. Cheese that we made a pass through before. And if you're really doing something big, see, they even have that size. Here are their salmon. They even have caviar. Look at the price. Wow. Hmm. Yeah, like I said, it's an acquired taste. So here they have their seafood. Very fresh. Yes, I have bought here. I actually like their butchery section. Canned fish. So these are their... They don't have century tuna. That's all right, I guess. Uh, not here. Again, if you're having a party, you can actually order your stuff here and it cuts the preparation time by more than half because all you'd have to do is pop this in the oven or fry them and you're all set. I'm actually hoping they have lamb chops. That's what I'm here for and I'm going to get some meat. People usually fall in line so I have to find my place in the line there's not too many people so that is very good should they have lamb chops they don't have lamb chops i'm looking for so i guess i'm just gonna do my beef here ground beef 80 percent that's my son's fave so getting some of these and he's cutting up some lamb chops for me. Yay. Butcher in action. Nice thing here is that you can actually request, um, especially the thicker steaks, they can cut it in half. Like that beef porterhouse over there, which is like two inches thick. slow just in case you're an aficionado for these kinds these are marinades and dressing sausages over here all types all flavors and bacon bacon for those who love bacon look at that you have apple with bacon, maple and cured. Take your pick. I think I'm going to get me a burger. And I always try to get their ground beef here. It's always good. See, their price is just a dollar above the grocery at home. When it's not on sale. Maybe not, maybe not today. And for your pets, they have fresh pet food. It's not that big of a floor space up here. Because there is a sort of cafeteria style eating area. They used to have restaurants there pre-pandemic, but they kind of disappeared. And for the babies, and the kids in the house. You have here their processed liquids or beverages. 
one of the crew wanted to pass by and was waiting for me to finish my panning. And you even have the diapers. My favorite is actually kind, and then my son loves Rice Krispie Treats, which I don't think they have here. These are very good. Different honeys. We have raw honey, maple syrup, and baking good. Ooh, pancakes and cookie mixes. Very interesting. I don't really bake. I did a lot of baking during the pandemic and needed that, needed that, needed that. Different sweeteners down here. Of course, the spice wrap. Choose this over here. <laughs> all grown soda. What's all grown soda? I guess that's hard soda. Oh, and these are special. Milk cereal ice cream. Very, very good. Painters over here. For some reason, I'm always drawn to these containers. I have a ton of them. Here are the cookies. More cookies. Prices are 29 for the salmon. Cod filet is 21.99. All frozen. And they even have tilapia filet. They've had this for a bit, the mochi. Also, they now they're individually wrapped. My six for ten. And the macarons are actually two dollars each. You buy your food and you can actually check out. There are the prices. For this section, you actually pick out what you buy. So a solid bar is $30.99 per pound. You pick your container and then you make your you pick. I think I'm gonna get my dinner here. Sorry. It's quite the very choices. And meatballs. Maybe I'll do some meatballs. And that looks good. They have the descriptions and the calories. Of course, you get your containers here. It's very delicious. So I think this is going to be dinner for me. A little tough to get. And then I'm going to get some meatballs. Oops, I'm getting all the cheese. Can you see that? Yumminess. Okay, it's a little problematic. We're going to pull that back to the container. 
And then I'm gonna get some meatballs. I thought I saw meatballs somewhere. Okay, so these are vegetable meatballs. We're gonna get just a few, maybe just three. Okay, let's make it four. Sriracha, different. Sorry, I got sideways. Uh, difficult. And that is line. I'm gonna have to fall in line with that. Want to create your cold salad? These, sorry, these are the choices. And they have dressings as well. I'm gonna have to fall in line. Sorry. Yeminous, like I say. for the avocado fruit and juices. To me, I didn't see this before. They now have packed nuts under their own brand. All the different snacks that are here. Looking for soda. healthier snacks. All the chips that you would need for the hummus. Picnics, parties, this is the section you want to go to. The options for lip balms. Toothpaste, travel kits. Smells so good here. Smells so good. Pure essential oils, wow. It's actually cheap. In Muji, the size is like $20. Depends, I guess, because there's one there that's $28 and $40. Depends. Testers have been removed. Probiotics. They're in a cold container. So if you're looking for anything specific, I don't know if you can check their website out. Soaps, shower gel, Epsom salts. Very good brands.
vitamins, gummies and stuff. Here, here. I love soap, so if you can see, I'm giving them special attention. Kind of unfair, right? I am hungry. whole shelf here of vitamins, minerals, additives, and other stuff to get you healthier. Feet pads, they have a price. Let's see. And there's priceless. It's an artisan project. And how much would that be? It's fifty bucks. So you can see there, row to row. Use the shorter line, head all the way to the front. <laughs> and wait to have your. So I am on the third row, waiting for my number to be called. Register three. I'm next. Register 10. I need to register 10. Sorry. 